Welcome back everybody to another episode of this Walsall save. I think it's episode 3 I think. So yeah, season 6 as well. So we're doing really, really well with this. Uh, yeah, I thought I'd get this up just to give you all an update about Con uh, Costas Manolas. Yeah, he decided to ditch training and didn't show up. He went AWOL. Uh, but we've sold him to Norwich. Uh, nine million pounds, and yeah, his physicals are starting to go down now. So, to get nine million quid for him, I'm happy with that, to be honest with you. And to say the experiment didn't work, it, I say experiment, say one of our first biggest name signings, it just didn't work, did it? But hey ho, Costas, enjoy Norwich. So, since our last game where we played Everton, we played Man City and got a fantastic 2 all draw. Uh, Bertie scored, uh, well, we had a 2 0 lead through Bertie and Saliba. And yeah, we thought, flipping out, we, we could go on and do something. And then 13 minutes, Harry Kane scored a penalty. And again, it was another penalty from VAR given it. We keep getting penalties given against us. Uh, it's always from a set play. So every time a ball goes in from a corner, free kick, always something happens. I have no idea why, but it's really annoying me because we're playing, especially against some of the better teams, we're playing really well, but we keep gifting them goals through that. I'm not too sure if it's the football manager system what's uh, got the ratings too high on it or what, or if my players are very, very aggressive, which I don't think they are. I haven't got them to be aggressive, but yeah, it's annoying me. And then uh, they scored another goal as well. Uh, Taliba, I think, from a set piece is their centre-back. But we did also score a third as well right at the end of the game, but it was ruled out for offside. And to be fair, it was offside, but I was gutted. Uh, then we played Fulham and lost 2-0. We, we were incredibly poor. Uh, and yeah, they deserved to win, to be honest with you. So that's what happened. And in the most recent game, we played Derby County and we drew 0-0. Yeah, really frustrating, to be honest with you. Yeah, basically what I've got now is a. have just set this up for the foot, uh, for the derby game because when we play this formation against the Le uh, Leicester, this formation works really well for the big boys when we play against them because it's a bit more counter attacky and yeah, it can, we, we can beat teams, like, we can get decent results against good teams like that, so I'm happy with that. But obviously against the lesser teams, for some reason, it doesn't seem to want to work that way. I'm not too sure why. Well, it might be because they're sitting deeper against us because we have got quite a decent team, so we find it hard to break them down and then they just do us. So we can't break through against them. So that's why I've de uh, decided to get this tactic in against the lesser teams. Yeah, it's pretty much exactly the same formation, a few things different, but we keep the ball better. So we're not giving away the ball cheaply so they can hit us on the break and score goals. So we're still really high up, we're still looking to create lots of chances, but it's just not on the counter. So... That's what we're going to use against the lesser teams. And hopefully, give it a couple of games to settle in, it can work. But we'll have to wait and find out, won't we? But yeah, for this game against Everton, because they're a decent team, I'm going to go to my counter-attackive tactic. So yeah, as you can see here as well, Carden's injured. He's out to uh, two to four weeks. So that means four weeks. And so, we'll start Marquez in this game. And I'll put Ricky Weaver on the bench. Uh, how is everybody? This is a cup down. I do tend to rotate a bit for the cup games, but I want to win this cup because oh, also as well, the day before, Chelsea have just been knocked out by Swansea as well. So I am buzzing about that. Absolutely buzzing. So yeah, this is what we've got at the moment. I'm going to put Ralston in, uh, give him a bit of game time in there. Uh, uh, yes, I... Augustin Pavencio, I've changed his name just to Gus because it's a lot easier than trying to pronounce his surname. So yeah, he's called Gus. So Gus will come in for Bello at left wing back so he can get a bit more game time there. And we'll keep the defence the same because I want that to build a bit more of a partnership in there. Rudiger can find himself a bit unlucky that he's not getting much game time at the moment. Uh, but I just want to get John Williams back in there. So yeah. Then we've got... I will put a Vitelli in there to get some minutes in him. We'll keep Hannibal in there because Hannibal is class. And I love him so much. Uh, Marquez, Barry and Bertie. You know what? I might give Barry a bit of a rest and I'll start Fabian Lopez. 
because I need I want do want to get Fabian Lopez and game time to, to develop into that role as well. So yeah, that is the lineup for today's game, and let's see how we get on. Actually, who have we got after this? I can't remember. Uh, West Ham. So yeah, after the West Ham game, we will also show you the league table. So yeah. Everton today, fourth round of the cup. As you can see, Watford are through, knocked out Fulham. Borough are out, uh, and Derby are through on penalties. A lot of penalties I've noticed already. Yeah, Swansea knocked Chelsea out on penalties. And Man City just scraped through against Brighton. So yeah, this should be... Well, it's a bit more open than what it has been. Let's hope some big boys keep drawing against each other. So who else plays today? Wickham versus Villa. You'd expect Villa to win that. Us versus Everton. Two Premier League teams going up against each other and Hull versus Tottenham. So hopefully there could be a couple of shocks in there. Hopefully Wickham can actually uh, win so we can get them in the next round. So here we are at our uh, temporary home state. Oh, God, there's a load of empty seats for this one. We had more people at the last game. It was pretty much sold out, weren't it? So a few minutes in. Oh, here we go. First chance. Gus with the throw to Lopez. Can he get the ball across? He does mark. Oh, headed away by Gomez. Hannibal wins it back. Come on, let's go and make something. Ralston. I oh, blocked. The cross was there. Vitelli to Hannibal. Lovely little play there. But he... Oh, save. But plays it back. Gus Lopez. Oh, just wide. So close to taking the lead there. Probably should have done. Ah, uh, yeah. Not good. Can we? But that's a good sign, though. I'm happy with that. I'm dominating possession already. And this is the uh, tactic which isn't meant to dominate possession as well. This is the counter-attacking one. As uh, yeah, we're still nil-nil here. Been a couple of goals in the other games. Hannibal with the ball whipped in, but he straight at the keeper. Yeah, I just I was having a look at that keeper, Squitter. He's, he looks a very good keeper. Ball whipped in, and oh, goalkeeper, our keeper misses it, and uh, Everton find themselves one nil up. Londas. Durigu with the goal. He ran Dust with the ball in and oh keeper. He, he messes that one up there. Shouldn't have got come for it. I suppose that's the issue you've got when you've got a six foot goalkeeper. Uh okay. Can we get ourselves back into it? Horrible mistake there by our keeper. But we're saying that we've had chances and we haven't converted it. They've had the one chance and it's gone in. We need to make sure we can do better. Certainly. Show me something else that second half. And see if we can tell these guys that you weren't that bad. I have faith in you. And yeah, it hasn't really gone very well, has it? Okay, what options do we have on the bench? Fitelli's having a, not a great game. I've got a corner. Ball whipped in. Moreno, ooh, just over the, the bar. Okay. Yeah, we're not been playing great so far. Fabian Lopez is also having a poor game. But we've got a chance now. Gus to take the throw. Throw it in. Bertie tries to flick it on, but they head it away. Irandus plays it forward and could, could have intercepted that, but we didn't. But Boonall now on the ball. Bernal plays it back to Choi all right. Oh, Vitelli doesn't win the ball, but he had a couple of chances there as well. Uh, Tis Mikas. Ball across here and us, and it's 2-0. That was poor defending by us there. And, uh, yeah, it's 2-0 Everton. They seem to be getting revenge for our uh, defeat, uh, for their defeat against us at Goodison. Yeah, we're going to have to make some changes now because this has not been good enough. Mm. So, yeah, we was playing the counter-attack. We're going to go... Do we go to the possession base or do we go two up top? Let's go for the two up top. But you can go there. Marcus in the deep line. Playmaking role. And do we have an attacking midfielder? No, but we'll put Louis Barry on in it though, because I feel like he could actually be quite a good shadow striker. Should have the attributes for it. Okay. So Vitelli, he's had an absolute mare. He's to be honest, he's struggled to get into this team. Uh, I had high hopes for him, but it doesn't seem to want to work. Okay, let's see. We got hit early crosses in into the area. We'll try and focus the play down those sides as well. Higher tempo and more direct. We'll also not distribute out from the back and counter press them as well. Okay, let's see how that goes. And we're on attack as well. So hopefully, yeah, we've got a highlight straight away, which is good. Gus with the throw. 
Hanwell flicks it on, but they clear it away, but back to Gus, and they hammer it away again, poor delivery. And uh, they come forward again to Everton, and Vitono, I think, Vito, on the ball, ball whipped in, back post, Brunel with the save, and it goes straight back to Brunel, and it's 3-0. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to be our day. We're going out of the cup. 3-0 down now. And, yeah, it's a, it's a lesson in finishing chances at the moment. Hmm. We'll put Louis Barry up front. Mark F is not having a good game. And we'll put R Ricky Weaver on. Give him some minutes. Yeah, this is not good. Not good at all. Hannibal's having a great game. But we are playing as a team awfully. And uh, it's another highlight to Everton at the moment. Tomaski, Troyore. Yeah, we're just not competing. We're not putting in any challenges or anything like that. Boonel coming forward. Shoots. Shoots wide. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to have a shout at him and say show some passion. Because this is absolutely awful. Just no bite, no nothing. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like we're going out. Oh, Hull City are smashing Tottenham as well there. And, yeah, this was a real good opportunity for us to actually go on, and go on a cup run. And, yeah, it hasn't happened. As a, at least Ralston's trying to give it a go, I suppose. Yeah, it's just a t such an average performance. And, yeah, that's it. We're out the cup. Fourth round. We should have gone farther. We should have gone further. And, uh, yeah, Hannibal's had a really good game. But the rest of us haven't. I'm far from pleased with the result. That was absolutely shocking. Absolutely awful. I can't believe how poor we were. Hmm. We're going to have to expect a better performance than that. But, yeah, I'll see you in a couple of days for the West Ham game. So here we are then against West Ham at home. Hopefully we can get a much better performance than we did last time in the last game against Everton because that was really poor. So that's our quick league table. We are currently sitting in 14th with 10 points after 10 games, which I suppose in the grand scheme is a bit of who we are and everything. That's not too bad, but as I said to you before, I think we should be further up the league table. And I know you haven't seen all the games, but... We've put some very good performances in, so we need to make sure we pick up a bit. So, yeah, let's have a quick look at what we're going to go with today. We are going with the uh, Tiki Taka for style of play. We have got, I've dropped the defenders from stoppers to defenders, apart from Mengo, we've still got him as a cover. So, yeah, we've got Bello and Le Maire now as, the, uh, as our wing backs. Let's have a quick look. Hannibal's knackered. So we'll take Hannibal out. We'll start Claudio Gomez. And to be honest, Claudio Gomez is a good player as well. I, I do like him a lot. 17 million now is worth as well. So so we'll give him some game time. Rosario is the ball winning midfielder. Marquez will be playing... I changed his role a bit to an advanced playmaker. Yeah, he's... I, I think he has got the attributes to do quite well at it. Uh, like just because his pass is 17 and he's still got the good, really good teamwork and his vision's 13 which isn't bad hopefully when he gets the ball the passing will be good because he'll make the right decision as well and obviously his first touch is very good and his dribbling's decent as well so fingers crossed that might be better suited for him uh, then we've got Louis Barry as the inside forward on the left hand side with Bertie up top and hopefully if, if we need to get chances to Bertie so he can stick it in the back of the net. Louis Barry's off the ball is 16. That's pretty good. We need to... Hmm. I am debating it. Would it work? Because look, uh, Bertie's off the ball isn't as good. So, would it be worth playing Louis Barry up front for the movement he offers so but Marquez can play the ball through to him? And maybe Bertie on the wing, cutting inside and shooting. What's his long shot like? It's only 13. Yeah. Probably not the best thing to do, to be honest with you. But it's something to consider. What is Barry like as a centre forward? Advanced forward is quite decent at. Hmm. Well, I think that's something we've got to consider at some point. But then again, saying that, we could go to that formation 
have Bertie as the complete forward and Barry as the oops, wrong one. As Barry as the advanced forward. And Marquez can be the advance oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Uh Marquez can be the advance playmaker. So he can like just put to play the passes through. What's he like as an advanced playmaker? Yeah, so it's pretty much the same stats as the wide playmaker, isn't it? So then we've got two strikers who can score goals. Marquez playing the balls through as well as Gomez. And the wing bats getting forward to get crosses in. You know, kind of chopping and changing this tactic as I'm going to us. I don't want it to be on a counter attack. So we'll change that to a... Uh, should we go Gagan press? Yeah, we'll press him high up. I think that's all I'm going to go with it. So I don't want it to be counter attack. This is a t uh, formation I'm going to use for lesser teams. So we'll change these back to def ball playing defenders instead of ball playing stoppers. So that will stay the same. We got these guys as wing backs. Do we go complete wing back? Those to attack whilst incapable of occupying defensive duties. His natural in indication is to affect the game in the op opposition's defensive third. Yeah, because there are wide players. We want them to be well. They are our main width, so we need them to be concentrating on the final third. And we have still got these players here as well. So we've got Rosario, who's going to be the ball-winning midfielder who's going to stay back. Is it worth sticking him there, maybe? To offer that protection? We might, something, we might consider that. We'll see how the game goes. We could drop him back further just to give that more defensive st st uh, stability. That's the word. Gomez will be the deep line playmaker on support because all I want him to do is to switch the play around. And Marquez, I want him to try and fed, uh, feed those balls through. What's his long shots like? 12. Gomez long shots, 12. Uh, I wonder if I could try and get those guys to shoot more. What's it like for attacking midfield? Actually, we'll steep it, keep it on that. We'll click on Marquez. What's the attacking midfield role, uh, role and support? So he shoots more. Still looks to do the passes, which is be decent. If we go attack, it just gets into the area and shoots more, which isn't necessarily what we want because we've got two very good strikers in there. Hopefully, he can drift into those positions naturally, but hmm, maybe attacking midfield might be the option on support. So he looks to try and get those chances. And if he sees the right time to go, so he's got good decision making, he can get in there. You know what? I'm going to go for that because we do want him to be a goal scoring threat as well but we want him to make his own decisions which he's got a lot of yeah we'll go with that it will probably completely backfire but you never know it could work and we could win 17-0 okay maybe not that much but you know what I mean so yeah I'm going to go into with that and that's going to be the lineup we go with as well we will look to get uh, Hannibal on at some point just because again his class and to be fair, Bert is being class all season. And so, yeah, Saliba's being really good this season for us as well, actually. And looking at his ratings, the amount of goals I could see, you wouldn't have thought so. But yeah, let's go straight into the game. Yeah, I'm going to go with I'm expecting a much better performance today from the last game. We were incredibly poor. And I have faith as well. Hopefully that will work on all of them. And so far, it's looking all right. And I have faith in you guys. So yeah. The experience of trying Louis Barry up front. We'll give it a go. Um, hopefully it will work. Because we need a couple of options to play against the uh, smaller, t uh, the lesser teams. Because we do have a good team and we should be picking up points against them. But at the moment, you know, this is nice football actually. That's really good football to get there. Come on, Lemire. Put the ball across. He does. Oh, headed away. It, Gomez on it now. Come on. That was a nice football to move up the pitch. That's what I want to see. Williams, cross the ball to Lemire, back inside to Rosario, back out wide, that's it, oh, lovely play, Lou Barry, oh, cut out, that was almost superb, that would have been a fantastic goal, but yeah, we're dominating the ball, which is nice, and we, from that point there, we played some very, very good football, and yeah, we've got that little triangle there, of pressing high on them, that's what I want to see, Gutierrez, long ball forward and headed away, Maybe need to be a little bit better in the middle of the pitch. Uh, Williams, ball cross, blocked away, but Felipe Anderson gets there. Plays it back to Gutierrez, and they've got it out wide now. Hmm. Chamberlain on it. Oxlade-Chamberlain, that is, as well. 
Such a uh, West Ham signing. Oh, it was through one of my... Good save by Banner Pasta. But good Pasta makes a great save there. And uh, it's a corner. Cha oh, Pedrinho. I thought it might have been Chamberlain. I guessed. Headed away. Bertie, and it clears it away. Okay. 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 I'm still trying to work out if we're playing well. Possession's equal. They've had more chances than us. Which obviously isn't good. And they've got a set piece now. So this is obviously going to be a penalty. I know they hit it over the bar. Has ref given a penalty? No goal kick. That's alright. Mark Eth now coming forward. Can he feed that ball through? No, he gets tackled. Didn't make the right decision there with his 16 decision making. Hmm. Yeah, he's trying to work it. See if this works. And own ass shoot. Oh, it's comfortable sh uh, save in the end for Bonapasta. Yeah, they do seem to be uh, doing quite well. Uh, coming down. Hmm, maybe it's the overloads on the wings. Lemaire, good ball through to Barry. Barry, oh, just wide and near post. Yeah, we can work opportunities a bit better. Which is a positive, I suppose. But we're still conceding a lot of chances. Hmm. Need to investigate why. I'll do that off camera anyway, trying to investigate why that happens. I'm not happy with the performance out there. I think that's fair. It pro might just be because it's new to us. So in possession, let's go a bit shorter. And we'll drop down the tempo slightly so we're not forcing it too much. Okay. In transition, we're just distributing to the defenders, the centre backs. Okay. District centre. So as long as they're not taking big kicks, I don't mind how it gets there. And out of possession. Okay, I'm happy with that as well. Okay, let's see if we can kick on a bit more. Hmm. So I don't want it going too long. That's the issue. I want it to be fairly short to pass. I don't want them going long on occasions, but. Hmm. Okay, so so far, still not gr great. Well, it's a nil nil draw against Tim Bus in the league table, so we can't grumble too much there. I mean, Marquez is not having a good game. But I'm going to take Bello off and put Gus on, because he's on a yellow and he's not playing particularly well either. N nor is Rosario as well. Yeah, we'll, take, we'll make a double sub now. We'll get Vitelli on, and you know what? I'm going to put Hannibal on in that attack in that attacking midfield role, because he can also shoot from range. Can Hannibal? That might be a good position for him. Yeah, subs being made. Gus with the ball in. Johnny Williams, and it's headed away just about. But Barry's on it. Gomez, can he make anything happen? Plays it back to Mengai. Vitelli. So this is, looks like it's going to be a chance for us. Lemaire now beats his man. He's coming forwards, Lemaire. Plays back to Hannibal. Hannibal across to Gomez. Now Gus is on it. Ball across. Barry shot blocks. Bertie block shot. Oh, no, he just about get it clear. This is better from a side. This is better. I'm going to jump it up to attack. A couple of sh a block shots. But I think that's what we need. Come on, let's get creative. And it hasn't worked as well as I wanted. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Come on. I still think we can get three points here. And I don't think we are. I think it's going to be a nil-nil draw. Always a fun one to have. At least we didn't concede any goals. That's the positive. Oh, it's an awful game. John Williams got managed with a 7.1. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's good, isn't it? Okay, so a nil-nil draw. We seem to be getting a lot of them. Hmm. Not happy with the performance, but I think we might persevere with this one, to be honest. Just need to make a couple of tweaks to it and hopefully let them practice in training it, uh, this tactic and they might get into it a bit better. So, yeah. Okay, let's do the rest of it and see where we are in the league. So, yeah, that puts us in 15th. Uh, six points above the relegation zone, but they have got games in hand over us. So, yeah. It, not where I wanted to be at the moment. Picked up two wins, five draws and four defeats. Not great, is it? We've scored 11, so we're averaging a goal a game. That needs to be higher, but we obviously uh, conceded 16 goals as well. 
Yeah. So yeah, we need to be doing more. I'm not particularly happy. So yeah, we'll go for a good chunk of the season now anyway. And we'll come back for the Watford and Derby game. Two games, really, we should be winning. So that gives me plenty of time to get through these games. And these are a lot of these games actually are games we could pro we need to be looking at to pick up points, especially if we're going to be jumping up the table. So yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. And also we'll get time to try and develop this tactic, what we're going to go with till then. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I do hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.